Hey everyone, welcome back. We have successfully did the predictions from the YOLO model. But the problem is that we got very big long code. So this code is very difficult for us to do in the further cases. So what we will do here is that let me create the function out of this. For that what I will do, let me save this as .py file and in that .py file let's do some modifications. So here click on file and download as python file this is dot py file and just download this and keep it all right i have downloaded successfully and make sure that you keep that py file whatever you did in your current working directory i have already downloaded into my current working directory and you can notice that we have the yolo predictions dot py file is there let's open this and here we have lots of code is there and let's put one by one and put that in a function. First let's remove all the unnecessary codes are there. This is all the things we need to remove. And uh, of course we don't whichever is not required just remove that. The first thing is basically we are having the import functions and the next one is we are loading the YAML file. Alright and this is required and we have the labels and print statement is not at all required. The next step what we found here is the loading a model okay and after that we have a long code in which you are actually doing the predictions all right so what we will do here is that first let me remove all the necessary things this is 7 is not required and this is not required and this is the long code just remove all the necessary steps whatever we did something like print statements etc and be very very careful while removing this okay let's remove this and finally we have the aim show okay so this and all steps are not required let me remove all these things okay so i'm having nearly exactly the 100 lines now here what i want to do here is that basically since this is a load function and uh, we have the loading and images there Generally, the user perspective, it's better to pass an argument from there, we will load an YOLO model. That's what we need to do here. So for the simplicity, what I will do is I'm going to create a class. And creating a class is one of the most useful ways so that it is really very, very useful because we need to pass the YAML file and we need to pass the model and we need to pass the basically an image so these are three things we need to pass this so it is much more convenient to create a class so that it is easy for us first let's define a class here and this class limit as yolo predictions or yolo pred okay and now create in it df underscore underscore in it underscore underscore since these all are the class variables so it is better to create a self for it so the self dot labels is equal to data yaml of this next also create a self for yolo and self for yolo and also self dot yolo and these are the class variables which we are going to use throughout the class done now the next step is going to be my predictions right so what I'm going to do here is that let me create a function and name this as predictions and first we provide a self and then the argument first argument is this image let's say I already loaded the image outside the function and passing as an argument that's what I'm going to do here and done okay once we pass this and this will actually take care of everything so here we don't need quite the load things and so on and now we need to select all these things and press tab and one more tab and which will maintain the indentation okay all right so we have everything ready and make sure that wherever you're calling this YOLO you need to replace that with self okay so let me 
uh, walk through the code one by one. So first we are calculating the shape and after that we are calculating the max rows and max columns and after that you are uh, defining the input width of YOLO and so on and here we are passing to the YOLO. So this should be my self.yolo because this is my class variable and also self.yolo.forward. Be extremely cautious while doing this step because this is self.yolo not YOLO. If you are getting error like something like YOLO is not defined, please do this like self.yolo. Alright, now the next step is we got the detections and we define the empty boxes and everything is done and we define the image width and image height. Then we got the X factor and Y factor and everything is same and uh, also we got the classes, detections, everything is done up to here it is fine. And what we need to change here is labels. So while drawing the bounding box we define the class name. This label is actually the class variable and we need to define the self to it. Let me create self to it. Now let's save this and everything is done and finally what we need to do is we need to return image. Now let's save this. Okay with that we have successfully created the class. Next thing is as I said I am going to create the random I am going to create the different colors for the different objects so let me generate the colors let me create one more function and name that as generate colors all right now the input argument is going to be the id this id is actually my class id so it depends upon the class id i want to generate the color and remember the color should not change so that's what i need to make sure here and obviously this is a function i need to define the self to this so self comma id okay and since in order to not to change the colors every time you execute, I need to define the seed to it. So np dot random dot seed of 10, you can give whatever the number you want. Now I can able to get the same color every time I execute this. All right. And the number of colors I want to create is actually the number of classes. And that number of classes information I can get from the YAML file. In the data underscore YAML, we have the NC and this will gives you the number of classes all right so let me define self dot nc that's going to be equal to data underscore yaml of nc and this will give you the number of classes information cool oh since this is an init function i need to define the self here this is a class i need to define the self here okay is there any mistakes no all right now let's go down and here let me define the colors so the colors is going to be equal to i'm going to generate the random way numbers np dot random dot rand int and i'm going to generate the number of classes by three matrix and the minimum value should be 100 and the maximum is 255 since we know that the maximum value for image is 255 and that's what we need to change this. Next is size is going to be equal to basically it is a number of classes so self dot nc comma 3 because it is RGB. Done. Now convert to list. And finally we can return the colors of ID. So one based upon the ID it will give you that particular color and I will convert that into tuple of this okay so with that I can able to get the generate colors now let's call this generate colors immediately after my class name which is my colors equal to and call the generate colors since this is my uh, inside the class I need to call with the self dot generate colors and uh, I need to provide the class ID to this once you provide the class ID to this we can get the particular color based upon the class 
and this is my color I need to provide to my rectangle function this is just replace this okay since it is white color I'll also replace this and anyway uh, the text color I want to put into the black let me define the black color now let's save this and with this we have successfully created our predictions.py file so where we have the class and everything is there make sure there is no other thing is there below this please check once again and you can take this and done if at all you are getting any errors you can find the, this file yolo underscore prediction dot pi file in the resources and compare side by side so that you can avoid all the errors all right so this is very very important step that we're going to use and this file is going to use in the further lessons all right with this we have successfully completed the yolo predictions dot pi function in the next lesson we will see more on this until then Happy learning.